Hi guys, good evening. Welcome to another class here at Inglés Corporativo. My name is Alejandro Narbona, and I hope you have had a nice day. So thank you very much, Jairo, Antonio, Edith, Claudia, for being here. Are you ready to start? Están listos para empezar? Yes, sir. All right, very good. We have a lot to do today, guys. So <clears throat> we got to get this going. Do you remember what was yesterday's topic? ¿Se acuerdan cuál fue el tema de ayer? Do you remember what was yesterday's topic? No, nadie estuvo ayer. Yes. Algunas okay. pronunciaciones. Ajá. Uh -huh. Exactly. So we covered, cubrimos, we covered ED endings pronunciation. La pronunciación de los que van finalizados con ED. Okay. So just to recap, what happened when there is explosion and air? What kind of pronunciation do we have? Los que terminaban en T. Exactly. They, they finish in? Good. What happened when, or what happens actually when they finish in vibration? They finish with the, the. And what happens when they finish in T or D sound? Um, you can uh, finish with it. Yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna write it down on the group, on the chat guys. If they finish with vibration, vibration Clean. or air, we use T. Exactly. If they finish on, I'm sorry, no, 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 no. I, I made a mistake. It's, it's, yeah. it's explosion and air. Yep, I cannot, I don't know how to erase that. So it's going to be there, but there's a mistake. That was, was some mistake. All right, so. <clears throat> We're going to do, if they finish with explosion, or what? Air. Or air, we use T. T. Exactly. If they finish with vibration, we, we use, use the. 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 If the. they finish with T, remember, this is the sound, right? T or D. Okay. Is the sound we use? It. 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 All right. So, guys, it's muy importante, así como les decía. Oh man, I erased it. Ha, lo voy a ver. Give me a second. Um, if they finish with T or D, e, we use it. Como les estaba mencionando ayer, guys, esto es sumamente importante. ¿Por qué? Porque los medios finales pueden cambiar totalmente el significado de lo que queremos decir. Entonces, nosotros tenemos que saber cuándo ocuparlo. Por lo menos ya saberlo. To know it by heart. To know it by heart. Es como saberlo de corazón. Saberlo de memoria. All right? To know it by heart. How do you say saberlo de memoria? To know it by heart. To know it by heart. Exactly. By heart. Heart is corazón. So, guys. Démosle la importancia que merece cuando tengan tiempo y repasen esto, que lo van a ocupar durante toda su vida hablando inglés. Son las bases. En estos, estos prácticamente módulos, guys, son los más importantes. Aquí es donde aprendemos a caminar. Si no, vamos a poder correr, pero todo es quick. Vamos a andar tropezando. All right. So, All right. let's get it ready, guys. Today we yeah. have a lot to do. And I want to share the screen with you. All right, so read it with me, please. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. By the end of this class, by the end of this class, the end of this class you will learn how to form positive and negative statements. You will learn how to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using irregular verbs. In the simple past using irregular verbs. Very good. 
So by the end of this class, you will learn how to form positive and negative statements in simple past using regular verbs. Go. By the end of this, you will learn how to form negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. There you go. So guys, al finalizar de esta, al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán a formar oraciones positivas y negativas en pasado, pasado simple, ocupando o usando verbos irregulares. ¿Me pueden decir ustedes cuáles son los verbos irregulares? Could you tell me the, the regular verbs? ¿Cuáles son los verbos regulares? Uh, just the verbs you can put ed at the end. Exactly, the verbs that you add, ed at you the end. Add. Mm -hmm. Agregar, add. The verbs you add, ed at the end. Los verbos que agregamos, ed al final. Todos los que vimos ayer. Let me tell you guys, déjenme decirles, estos son la mayoría. All right? So the majority, the majority of verbs are regular. Okay? The majority. The majority okay. of verbs are regular. La mayoría de verbos son regulares. So my recommendation will be, divide them. Divídenlos. Divide them. And you're going to have regular verbs on one side, irregular verbs on the other side. Irregulares en el otro. Y apréndanselo. All right? Desde ya les dije, guys, hay patrones. Ya vamos a ver si, si salen algunos. Divídenos en patrones o búsquenos en patrones y memorícenselo. All right? Try to memorize them. All right. The restroom, at lunch, in the bathroom, doing whatever you got to do to memorize them. Do me a favor. Mute your microphones and let's watch this video, please. Hi, everyone. Using irregular verbs. Let's get started by listening and practicing these statements in the past using irregular verbs. Simple past statements. Irregular verbs. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You get up at 10 o'clock. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. In English, we have two types of verbs. In our last class, we learned how to use regular verbs and learned the simple rule of adding ed to change those verbs to the past tense. We also have irregular verbs, which are more complicated because there really isn't a particular rule to follow. You will need to learn them and memorize them. To form positive statements in the past using irregular verbs, we will follow the same formula as with forming positive statements with regular verbs. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. On these chart, you can see a few examples. If you notice the positive statements have the verbs in the past tense. And the negative statements have the verbs in the present tense. For example, the past of the verb do is did, get up, the past is got up, go, the past is went, meet, the past is met, come, the past is came, have, the past is had. Let's analyze the first example. I did my homework. First we add the subject I, then we include the verb in the past tense, did, Finally, we add a complement, homework. To form negative statements, we will follow this formula. Subject plus didn't, the auxiliary didn't, plus verb in the present, plus complement. I didn't do laundry. First, we add the subject I. 
Then we add the auxiliary verb to form negative statements in the past. Didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present. Do. Finally, we add the complement. Laundry. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to make positive and negative statements using these irregular verbs. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Alrighty guys, so here as you can see, we With have form and process. the same structure as simple past. All right. Do you guys remember what is the simple past of um, affirmative sentence? ¿Se acuerdan de cuál es la estructura para afirmativo? Anybody? Come on, don't be shy, no sentimidos. So subject plus verb base plus complement. Okay? Subject plus verb base plus complement. The negative, <clears throat> we're going to have subjects plus, repeat after me, guys. Unmute your microphones, please. Repeat after me. Subject plus. Subject, subject plus. plus. Didn't. 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 Which this didn't. is did not. Okay. Did didn't did is not. the abbreviation. All right. Long, did not. Short, didn't. Um. You know what? Give me a second, guys. I, I got. I made a mistake here. Cometí un error acá. Affirmative, guys, will be subject plus verb in past. In past. Plus complement. Okay. So, for example, how do you say yo jugué fútbol ayer? I play. Good. I played. Played. You played what? Football? Soccer? Soccer. Very good. How do you say semi tarea ayer? I look at the screen. I did I did my homework. Yesterday. Very good. Thursday. So Subject, verb in past plus complement. You have a couple of things. Okay? I did my homework. Exactly. So it doesn't matter. How do you say no importa? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's a regular verb or an irregular verb. The structure is the same. How do you say la estructura es la misma? The structure is the same. Uh -huh, exactly. The structure is the, the same. Structure. Guys, pongan atención a lo que digo. Aunque no me entiendan todo, siempre voy a tratar de relacionarse. Y aquí es donde ustedes van a, van a tener que poco a poco ir abriendo el idioma y comprendiendo. Okay, so okay. negative is going to be subject, what, the one that I was mentioning, that we estaba mencionando, subject plus didn't. Podemos decir did not, guys, no, no habría ningún problema, pero la situación es que un native speaker o un nativo no les va a ocupar did not. Solamente cuando ya estén bien enojados o haciendo énfasis en algo. I did not go. No fui, ¿entendés? So, in that case. So, that's okay. why I would recommend you to use didn't all the time. Didn't. Okay. Didn't. Uh -huh. Plus verb. Okay. Base verb. Base verb. Base verb. Base verb plus complement. Plus complement, correct. So, how do you say hice la tarea? I did my homework. I did my homework. No hice la tarea. I didn't, I didn't, do, didn't do my hard work. Exactly. As you can see, we are following the structure. Como pueden ver, estamos siguiendo la estructura. Um, how do you say, te levantaste al mediodía? Do you get up? Mm. Do you get up? You. Do you get up? Do you get up, do you get up, do you get up uh, early? Mediodía, guys? Ah, mid uh, mid midday. Uh, noon. Noon. Are you checking the screen? Están chequeando la pantalla o están en el teléfono? Uh -huh. So check the screen, guys. Vean la pantalla. Check the screen. Um, so mm -hmm. here, you got up at noon. 
You grab up you grab up you. Look at the screen here. You grab you got up. Got up at noon. At noon. You didn't get up at uh -huh. you didn't get up at ten. No te levantaste las diez. You didn't get up at ten. Repeat with me. You you didn't didn't get up. Get up at ten. At ten. Very good. So, si ustedes se fijan, guys, en afirmativo y en pregunta, que lo vamos a ver más adelante, vamos a ocupar el verbo vas, el, el, perdón, en afirmativo vamos a ocupar el verbo en pasado. El verbo en pasado. Verbo en pasado. Y cuando nosotros tengamos el auxiliar, porque este es un verbo auxiliar, es un verbo que ayuda, es el verbo hacer, right? ¿Qué significa eh, I didn't? Nada. Eh. Es simplemente no. Ok, so, no es que tenga el gran significado en cuanto a la traducción en español, pero sí tiene muchísimo significado en inglés. Ok, so, didn't no significa no. Eso quiero dejarlo bien claro, guys. Simplemente esa es la traducción. All right. Y siempre que nosotros right. tengamos un auxiliar, ya sea en afirmativo, perdón, en negativo como el didn't, o en, neg o en afirmativo como el did, el verbo va a ir en, en base. Teacher, ¿por qué va en base? Porque ya tenemos el auxiliar en negativo, en, en pasado. Ya tenemos el auxiliar en pasado. Ok. So, con, uh, continue with me. How do you say, él fue al museo? Uh, he, he, went, he, went, he went to the museum. Museum. Say with me, museum. 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 Él no fue a la librería. He didn't go, go to the library. He didn't go to the library. Very good. Next one. Repeat after me. We met our classmates. We met our classmates. We met our classmates. We, our classmates. we, we met, 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 met our classmates. Met our classmates. Met está en pasado o en base? Pasado. Pasado, exactly. We... We, we, we met. Meet. 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 Or a teacher. So, meet, is that in verbo, and is that in base or in uh, past? Base. Exactly, in base. So, how do you say conocer? Alguien? Meet. Meet. Conocí meet. a alguien? Met. Very good. Met. So, I need everybody participating, guys. Necesito que todos participemos. Next one. You came home late. You came you home came late. Came home late. Mm -hmm. You didn't come home early. You didn't come you home, didn't home, come home, home early. early. Very good. So, they had a picnic. They, they had a picnic. Had they didn't have a party. They, they, they didn't, didn't, didn't have, have a party. party. They didn't have a party. Yeah. All right, guys. So... Algo que yo les recomiendo, something I recommend, is most common irregular verbs. On Google, simple. Most common irregular verbs. Los más comunes. Common irregular verbs. Can you see the screen? ¿Pueden ver la pantalla? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Good. So here you have, <clears throat> choose any, just one. 50 most common irregular verbs, and normally, you're going to have them conjugated. Normalmente los van a tener conjugados, right? So you can see something like, say, said, said. Mm -hmm. said. Now, something I want to tell you guys, algo que les quiero decir es que los verbos en, los verbos regulares son más fáciles. ¿Por qué? Porque tenemos el base, Y el pasado es el mismo que el verbo participio. The past is the same as the past participle. Que lo vamos a ocupar más adelante en los tiempos perfectos. Pero en inglés, guys, todo cambia. En, en irregulares, todo cambia. Por eso se llaman irregulares. Say, said, said. Repeat after me. Say, say, said, said. said. Tengo said. Tengo mucha sed. 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 Make. Make. 
made. 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 If you notice, the past is the same as the past participle. All right? Es lo mismo. Son un poquito más fáciles de memorizar. But here we have go. 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 Went. 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 Gone. 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 Mm -hmm. Take. 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 Took. Taken. 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 Si se fijan, estos dos cambia totalmente. El pasado y el pasado participio. Come. 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 Came. Came. Come. Come. See. 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 Saw. Saw. Seen. Seen. Good. So, como pueden ver, guys, cambian. ¿Verdad? Cambian bastante. Así que hay otros que no cambian. Leave. Left. Left. All right. Put. Put, put, put. Es el mismo. Put. Entonces, guys, uh -huh. lo que yo les recomiendo, my recommendation is, agrúpenlos. Por ejemplo, si ven aquí, put, put, put is the same. Let, let, let is the same. Set, set, set es lo mismo. Entonces, aquí ustedes pueden ag agrupar todos los que no cambian. Luego pueden agrupar, por ejemplo, feel, felt, felt, que es, que es el mismo. Leave, left, left. Estos dos los pueden agrupar en uno. Y ya pueden encontrar las listas así en internet. All right? All right. Así que vayan, vayan buscando los verbos desde ya, guys. No hay ninguna fórmula mágica. Se los tienen que aprender. Simple. No hay fórmula mágica. Así que eso, guys, lo pueden... Por ejemplo, este es otro, otro patrón. Choose. Chose. Chosen. Okay. Aquí tenemos spend, ah no, perdón, break, broke, broke, broke. 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 fall, fell, fall. fallen. Te parece un poquito, ¿eh? Gro mm -hmm. Usted dígame que right. <laughs> Grow, <laughs> grew, grow. Okay. Y, y una pregunta, los pasados participios, ¿qué son los que significan? Ok, muy, muy buena pregunta. No lo vamos a hacer ahorita, guys, no lo vamos a ver ahorita, pero es bueno que lo sepan. Eso es lo que vamos a ver con los tiempos perfectos. Presente perfecto, present perfect, you know, past perfect, future perfect. Say, decir, dije, uh, dicho. Ok. Mm. Hacer, hice, hecho. Ir, fui, ido. All right. Tomar, tomé, tomado. ¿Me van entendiendo? Okay. Yes. So, yo, yo dije, I said. Yo hice, I made. Yo fui, I went. Eso es pasado. Ok. Uh -huh. Pero el pasado participa. Para, uh, el past participle lo vamos a ocupar, guys. Yo he dicho, tú has hecho, él ha ido. Okay. Mm. Él ha tomado eso, él ha venido, él ha visto, él ha conocido. Eso va con un auxiliar que lo vamos a ver más adelante. Ok, es eso mm. normal en español, guys. Yo he ido, yo he tomado, yo he conocido. Claro que es normal. So, no se preocupen que eso viene más adelante y no es tan fácil, no es tan difícil como parece. Solo hay que memorizarse los verbos, all right? All right. All right, fantastic, guys. So, here, uh, give me a second. Where are you? Oh, here you are. We have a couple of verbs. Here they are. Do, did. Get, got. Go, went. Meet, met, come, came, have, had. All right? So, guys, vamos a trabajar con esos verbos y vamos a trabajar con la estructura. So, necesito que, vamos a ver los, los, ver, los, los grupos y necesito que, por favor, I need you to please talk about it. Take a screenshot of this, please. Tómenle un screenshot. 
y pongan estos verbos. Si no, los voy a escribir en el chat. In the meantime, para mientras, vamos a hacer los grupos y traten de hacer cosas en pasado, de decir cosas en pasado, ocupando los verbos que tenemos acá, ¿ok? Using the verbs we have. Go ahead and accept the invite, please. Accept the invite. And use the past tense. Right, America, go ahead and accept it, please. I'm writing down the verbs right now. Antonio, can you hear me? ¿Me puedes escuchar, Antonio? Please accept the invite. Por favor, acepta la invitación. Antonio, can you hear me? All right, there we go. Exact. Ooh. All right. Okay, okay. So, guys, Hello. Hello. I want to hear you talking, all right? Yes. Bye. Tenemos sujetos, podría ser I, mm -hmm. did, um, I did, ¿qué hago yo? Okay. So, how do you say fui al cine ayer? Um, got up. ¿Sí? Eso sería me levanté. Oh. Mm -hmm. Go, when. Perdón. Oh, there you go. Don't apologize. No te disculpes. Para eso estamos. Okay. okay. It's when I went the cinema. I went, you can say, to the movie theater, perhaps. I went to the movie theater. I went to, to the movie, movie theater. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. So let's go ahead and work with the verbs, guys. I'm going to help you a little bit. Okay. So made is ise. Made. 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 Mm -hmm. hey. Made. How do you say yo hice la cena? I made. I made. Uh -huh. um, I made to, to dinner. The dinner. I, I made dinner. Very good. I, I made dinner. dinner or to the dinner? Dinner. That's it. I made dinner. Mm -hmm. I, made, I dinner. made dinner. Okay. Very good. How do you say, for example, yo dije una mentira? I said, say. Uh -huh. So said. Said. Mm -hmm. I said. Oh, no, no sé qué es mentira. Lie. Well, in this case, I'm sorry. That was my mistake. Fue mi error. I told a lie. A lie. Uh -huh. Tell. Decir también es. Decir. Tell. Lie. Told. Lo estoy poniendo todo en el chat. I'm writing down everything on the chat. Tell is told. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, how do you say, yo no hice la cena? I didn't. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't. Uh, dinner. dinner. Ahí está en el chat. I didn't. How do you say hacer? I, I didn't make dinner. make dinner. Very good. I didn't make dinner. Okay. So, what you can do, guys, lo que pueden hacer es look for a, a list of verbs. Busquen listas de verbos ya conjugadas 
y empiecen a ocupar los, los verbos. All right? Okay. Tratemos de pelearnos con los complementos, tratar de buscar vocabulario. Si no sabemos cómo se dice, no temo. You can okay. ask me, me pueden preguntar. Or you can look it on your own. Lo pueden buscar ustedes mismos. All right? Okay. Let me check the other group. Keep on practicing for five more minutes and then we we'll go back to the main to the main section, okay? okay. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Try to practice affirmative and negative. Is exercise to yesterday, I see, brother. Without uh -huh. two, single two. I did exercise yesterday. Exercise first time. The exercise yesterday. Okay. I got up. Um, I got up early this morning. I got up early this morning. Good job. He, he go. Went. I. Uh, hey, yes. He he went. Mm -hmm. To school this day. Today. Yeah. Today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. He went to school okay. today. That's good. We met a um, neighborhood. Neighbor. Neighbor. Neighborhood is vecindario. Neighbor is vecino. Uh -huh. Entonces, this neighbor. Neighbor. I meet neighbor. Met. Met. Mm -hmm. I met neighbor. I met a new neighbor. I met okay. a new. I met a new neighbor. Uh huh. Um, I came. Um, I came to this class tonight. Okay. Good. Um, I, I have, have, mm -hmm. I have a, a, a homework. What, what do you want to say? A, repeat. I have, have, I have. have. I had. I had. Mm -hmm. Yo tuve. I had. I had. I had a homework. Yo tuve. Um, how can I say this? Una, una tarea. Uh huh. Yeah, I had homework. Es correcto. That's correct. I had homework to do. Tuve tarea uh, por hacer. I have... I had homework mm -hmm. to do. To do. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. okay. right, I got... didn't do um, exercise. There you go. Very good. I didn't do exercise. That's good. Um, I went to the cinema this morning. I went to the movie theater or the, the movie cinema. theater. Mm -hmm. The cinema. 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 Mm -hmm. I went to the cinema this morning. Okay, very good. Theater. It's on the group. Todo lo que les estoy poniendo, guys, it's on the in, on the chat, on this chat. All right, so guys, let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay. Let's get the people back. Okay, so thank you very much for coming back, guys. Gracias por regresar. Now, um, is this easy or difficult to you? Esto es difícil o fácil? More or less. More <laughs> easy or less. and sometimes difficult. Okay, very good. Now, let me tell you something, guys. With this, there's no magic. Structure is easy. La estructura es simple. Todo lo que tenemos que hacer es 
aprender nuestros verbos. And for that, there's no magic, guys. No, no hay nada que podamos hacer más que o exponernos al idioma y ver películas todo el día, que está bien yuca porque tenemos que trabajar, um, o escuchar música todo el día, que ayuda, pero no es lo más recomendable al 100%. Sino, guys, a lo old school, a lo viejo. Lista de verbos, memorizándose. Simple. Memorícense por lo menos unos... Entre 8, máximo 10 verbos por día y pásenle dando vuelta todo el día en la cabeza. All right? Literalmente, okay. va a quedar grabado para la posteridad de YouTube. Ya me aprendí los verbos sentado en el inodoro. Simple. En mi tiempo no habían smartphones, una lista de verbos que me dieron en el colegio. Me llamó la atención, fui proactivo. Como siempre me he tardado en el baño. Entonces, lista de verbos y ahí está mi vocabulario. All right? So, guys, right. let's go ahead and check something else. We already checked. Ya vimos cómo hacer affirmative and negative. Now, let's go ahead and do and ask questions, okay? Mute your microphones, please. Well, not yet. Not yet. We got to do the video. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer simple yes-no question. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in real life settings. Now, al finalizar esta clase, ustedes aprenderán cómo formular y responder preguntas con respuesta corta, sí o no, en pasado simple. Además, practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un entorno de la vida real. So, now, yes, please, go ahead and mute your microphones. And let's go ahead and pay attention to this, all right? Microphones, mute it, please. Write down any any important detail. Hi, everyone. People pass yes or no questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Did you like it? Let's listen and practice. Did you like it? So... Did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow. Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Let's take a look at the questions on this chart. Simple past yes no questions. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. In order to form simple past yes or no questions, we can follow this formula. Auxiliary did plus subject plus the verb in the present plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Did you have a good summer? First, we will add the auxiliary verb did. Next, we need to include the subject, you. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, have. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary verb did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark. A good summer. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, Yes, I did, or negatively by saying, No, I didn't. In our example, we can see that the question was answered positively Yes, I did. Then extra information is given. I had a great summer. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Have 
turn into hat. Let's analyze one more question. I'll choose the last one on this chart. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? First, we will add the auxiliary did. Next, we need to include the subject, Erica and her sister. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, go. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark to Colorado. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, they did, or negatively by saying, no, they didn't. In our example, we can see that it is answered by saying, no, they didn't. Then extra information is given. They went to Arizona. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Go turned into went. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to think about your last vacation and practice making questions and answers about it. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, can you hear me guys? Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to practice a little bit. Vamos a practicar un poco. Okay, on how to do this. Give me just a moment, please. Let me go ahead and load this. Just a moment. So we're going to keep it here. Um, the structure will be the following. You're going to have did, and I'm going to write it down on the, on the chat too, did plus subject plus verb in the present plus complement. All right? Vamos a tener el did más el sujeto. Verbo en presente, guys. Remember, because we already have the auxiliary in past. Ya tenemos el auxiliary en pasado. Entonces, el verbo va a estar en base más el complemento. How do you say, tuviste un buen verano? Do you have a good summer? summer. summer. Do or did? Did. Did. Yeah. Did. Did. Mm -hmm. did. Remember, it's in past. Say it with me. Did. 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 Uh -huh. did. How, do you, how do you ask, jugaste voleibol? Do you play voleibol? Jugó Mario voleibol? Did Mario play volleyball? Jugó Melissa football? Did Melissa play football? Play soccer or football? Sure. Football in the United States is sure. NFL. Sure. Like you know, hitting all the people. Pegándole todo el mundo. <clears throat> all right. How do you ask, estudiaste inglés? Do you study English? Did you study English? Everyone with me. Did you study English? Did you, Did you study English? English? Study English. Very good. How do you say, veniste ayer? So you, did you go, came? Did you ca come? Did you come? Came. Correct. Very Did good. you come yesterday? Exactly. Um, is this la tarea? Do you, you do your homework? Did you do your homework? Very good. Did you do your homework? How do you answer yes? <clears throat> yes, I did. Yes, yes I, I did. did. No? No, I, I didn't. didn't. I didn't. Very good. No, para, para él. No, no he, he didn't. didn't. No, para ella. No, no she didn't. didn't. No, she didn't. No, para nosotros. No, no, we didn't. We didn't. Sí, nosotros. We, we, we. Yes, we, we did. It. We did. We did. Yes, we, we did. did. Correct. Very good. Sí, él sí, o él lo hizo, dependiendo de. Sí, con él. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Very good. So, guys, these are short answers. All right? Estas son respuestas cortas, las que vamos a ocupar. So, for example, eat it. 
Did you take a shower today? Yes, yes I take. I did. <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, Very good. So let me ask you again. Edith, did you take a shower today? Yes, yes I, I did. did. Very good. Pamela, did you eat pupusas today? No, I didn't. Very good. Marta, did you study English in the morning? Yes, I did. Jairo, <laughs> se echó un par de virongas. I'm, I'm sorry, that's in English, right? <laughs> did you drink a few, beer, a few beers today at work? No, I didn't. Vale, vale, que no lo van a echar. Careful. Claudia. So, Claudia, um, did you drink horchata today? No, I didn't. Very good. Antonio, did you dance salsa yesterday? Yes, I did. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> so, guys, I'm going to have a few time expressions. Oh, here's the chat. Finally, I got it. We're going to have today, how do you say ayer? Yesterday. Yesterday. I'm writing everything on the chat. How do you say uh, la semana pasada? The past week. The last, last week. week. Last, last week. week. El año pasado. Last the last year. The last year. year. El mes pasado. The last, last month. month. Last month. Very good. Uh, so how do you say el último viernes? O el viernes pasado. The last Friday. Last Friday. The last Friday. How do you say hace dos semanas? No. Uh, two weeks, two ago. weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Hace un año. Um, one year ago. Very good. Hace dos horas. Hace cinco horas. Uh, five hours ago. Five hours ago. Five hours ago. Very good, guys. So these expressions are going to help you out. Estas expresiones les van a ayudar para su complemento. Did you take a shower yesterday? Did you study last week? Did you go to work last year? Les van a ayudar al complemento, guys. Vamos a hacer otra vez grupos. We're going to go back to the groups. And uh, you're going to ask questions. How do you say see? Sí? Yes. Yes. Yes, what? yes, I did. Yes, I, yes did. I did. How do you say no? No, I, no, did. no, I didn't. I didn't. No, I didn't. All right. Very good, guys. Let's go ahead and accept the invite. And let's start practicing. Invite has already been sent. All right, so we're just missing Jairo and Antonio. There we go. Oh, do you go to the cinema, the cinema today? Cinema. Cinema. Cinema today. I always forget it. No, I didn't. Okay. Do you go to the beach yesterday? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Um, do you take a shower today? There you go. Yes, I did. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh -huh. More questions, guys. Now ask, um, make sure that you ask about other people. Did your brother, okay. did your sister, did your husband, etc. Okay, okay. Um, did your brother go, go out to his friend today? His friend. Go his out friend. with his friend. Uh huh. His friend today. Uh, Marta. Repeat which question, please. Uh, do you um, did uh, your brother go to go out to her uh, his friend? No, I didn't. There you go. No, he, he, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. Correct. Uh, Edith, the, uh, did your brother go out with his help, his friends today? No, he didn't. Okay. Um, did your sister, did your sister take a shower today? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. She did. Yes, I did. She did. Yes, she did. She did. Edith? Yes, uh, the, she did. Uh, yes. Um, did your dog eat today? Good question. <laughs> 
I repeat, please. Did your dog eat today? Yes. No, I no I didn't. <laughs> no, yes, it did. didn't. Excuse yeah. me, teacher. No, it didn't because it's a dog. So uh, it. yes, it. Ah, okay, it. Yes, it did. Ah, yes, he did. Okay. Um, Edith, uh, did your dog eat today? Repeat, repeat, please. Did your dog eat today? Ah, mm, no. Mm, yes, uh, it did. It did. Yes. Okay, um, Marta, do you cook today? Yes, I did. There you go. All right, guys, you're doing a fantastic, a fantastic job. Let me see how the other group is, is doing. Get at least okay. a verb and start asking you a bunch of questions, all right? Okay. You're doing great. Eddie, do you cook today? I don't drink soda. No, no, uh -huh. I I drink soda. I'm no. here. Okay, good. Soda. Continue, guys. Okay. Hey, Antonio. I drink water. Seria, did you drink? Water last one hour. Last. Last one hour. The last hour. No puedo pronunciar. Sería in last? the last hour. In the last. In the last hour. Uh -huh. Hours. Okay. Last hour, just one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Continue, guys. Oh, no, I didn't. Uh -huh. No, I didn't. Good answer. The negative answer. Okay. Um, did, did you see? Um, last night? All right, good. Continue. No, I didn't. No, I don't or no, I didn't? Didn't. Okay. Didn't. Very good. Teacher, uh, didn't or didn't? Didn't. Didn't. Mm -hmm. Didn't. Didn't. Se, se escuchara como si se pronuncia la R, pero al final no es una R, sino como una combinación, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. What happens, lo que pasa es que esta es una flat... Uh, D. Así se le conoce, una flat D. Entonces suena como que es R. Ellos mm -hmm. no lo ven como R, pero nosotros, como ese es el fonema al que estamos acostumbrados, sí lo vemos mm -hmm. como R. Didn't. Por eso es, por eso es didn't. Mm -hmm. didn't. 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 Ok, thanks. You're welcome. So, how do you say, um, te bañaste ahora? I question that's a question uh, did you take a shower um did you take ahora. a shower today mm -hmm. today okay. so claudia ask antonio if he took a shower please um did antonio take a shower today a good question asking about antonio but ask him pregúntele a él ask him Hey, Antonio, did you take a shower today? Okay. Antonio, did you take a shower today? No, I didn't. Oh, my God. Good answer. <laughs> Very good. Antonio, ask Jairo que si se lavó los dientes hoy. And, uh, Jairo, did you brush your teeth? Pregúntale, Antonio. Ask him. 
how you did you brush, brush your teeth brush your teeth yes i do okay very good okay. i don't ask claudia um fuiste a trabajar ahora did you go to work today claudia did you work today did you go did you go to work did you go work, go to work. Today? No, I didn't. Oh, nice. A day off. Dia libre, day off. <laughs> All right. Yes. Fantastic, guys. Let, let's go back to the main session. Okay, thanks. All right, so let's get everybody back so we can wrap it up so we can close this session. So Claudia Pame, thank you very much. You're everybody coming. You're you're coming back. Now, oh, guys, do you have a question on how to ask using simple past? Tienen alguna pregunta en cómo preguntar con simple past? Obviamente sé, guys, que no lo van a masterizar el día de hoy, que no va a ser como que super 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 bien hecho. Pero entienden la estructura? Do you understand the structure? Yeah. Yes. Yes. All right. Fantastic. So, a couple of things, guys. I need you to practice. Necesito que practiquen en afirmativo, negativo, pregunta y la pregunta con respuesta sí o no. Necesito que por favor, como tarea, esta le pueden tomar la foto y la mandan al grupo. Como tarea, necesito que me hagan cinco ejemplos de cada uno. Cinco afirmativas, cinco negativas, cinco preguntas. ¿Ok? Okay. All right, fantastic. La, la, la pregunta y la respuesta. Ajá, exactly. La pregunta con respuesta. So, you're going to do 15 exercises. También, guys, pueden poner simple past exercises. Yeah, yeah. Uh, five, cinco negativas, cinco positivas. ¿Y cuáles son las dudas? Five questions with answer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cinco preguntas. All right, ahorita, guys, estamos en lo mejor de aprender porque acá es donde vamos a tomar nuestras bases. Nos aguadeamos acá, aguado va a ser nuestro inglés. Hacemos lo mejor y tratamos de entender con un montón de ejemplos, práctica, y así de bueno va a ser nuestro inglés. All right? So, um, All right. make sure you do this, guys. Tomorrow we start with lection, uh, lesson five. Okay? We're going to work with the past of B. Vamos a trabajar ya mañana con el pasado del verbo to be. Traten de ver un par de videos para que ya vengan un poquito encaminados. Okay? Y eso okay. es todo, guys. Thank you very much for being a part of English Corporativo. My name is Alejandro Narbona, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Take care, guys. It was okay. my pleasure. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.